Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Jay Kynes and I'm excited to be able to take you through a brief description of the YAVO Compensation Plan. And as we do that, I'm going to share some terms and some definitions with you and then take you through all nine ways that you're able to earn income through the compensation plan that we've been able to put together for you. And so as we do that, we, in consultation with uh, Dan Jensen and his firm, put this compensation plan together for you and it's really based on four goals that I'd like to go through with you. And the first one is this. This plan was built for long-term sustainable growth so that the company can grow long-term and be sustainable, but also you as a consultant to continually be paid for a very, very long time and on the volume and the growth of your organization. So long-term and sustainable is the first goal that we had when developing this. The second one then is a good dollar per hour proposition, meaning for every hour that you spend or your team members spend in your business, that they are getting compensated fairly for the amount of time that they're putting in. So that's goal number two. The third goal is we've developed a career path. So a very clear path for somebody that's just beginning all the way up to uh, somebody that's creating wealth, the top ranks in the company, there's a path that somebody can follow to take them through that in their career with Yevo. And then the fourth one is this, legislation. Here's the reality. The industry is changing and it's changing because regulations are starting to come down in regards to how companies are compensating their distributors. No more pay to play and things like that. And so there is legislation out there. And what I'm excited to tell you is that we are on the front cutting edge of that. That we've developed this plan to ensure that we're in compliance so that you as consultants, as field leaders, don't have to worry about this company getting fines placed on them or, or be in violation of regulations because we've taken great detail to make sure we're in compliance with all the regulations and legislation that's out there surrounding our industry and compensation plans. So let's talk really briefly about the uh, career path, but before I do that, I want to share with you just a couple of terms and kind of definitions. And here's first thing. We are a hybrid unilevel compensation plan. What that means is as you're building your business, you are getting paid on the volume that you and your team members are creating. And that also means that on the back end of the plan, we have some incredible wealth building bonuses as a result of you growing your organization, building your volume and developing leaders. The second thing is this, we are what we call a one-to-one -one compensation plan. So no more CV, BV split, meaning that if you purchase $100 worth of product, you're only going to receive commissions on a percentage of that. We're one-to-one. -one. So you spend $100, somebody purchases $100, the, the, there's going to be $100 worth of commissionable volume, so it's one to one. And then the third thing uh, that I want to speak to is the active status. So as we go through the plan, when we talk about being active, you'll see the volume requirements around that, but note, there's no auto ship requirement for active status and, and also that your active status is made up of customer volume and your own personal purchases. So active status being what actually qualifies you to advance through the compensation plan and be eligible for commissions and bonuses. So let's talk really quickly about the career path that's been put in place through the compensation plan. And the first one is this, it's our bronze level. So this is really the brand new person coming in and their focus is on, as you can see, sponsoring and enrolling customers preferred customers as well as retail and consultants. So that's the first stage of the career path and we'll go through the bonuses that really fall into that category of the career path. The second part of that is then silver and that's where again we're focused on sponsoring and enrolling customers and consultants but then we're also focused on creating the building blocks in the compensation plan which is our silver one rank and our silver three and we'll talk specifically about what the qualifications are around those ranks and why they are the building block to our compensation plan and your career path. And then the third then is as we get into the gold and platinum ranks and this is really where wealth building begins. Our focus still continues to be sponsoring and enrolling customers and consultants. But here's where we really start to dig in, develop leaders and focus on leadership ranks, building those individuals up and creating that sustainability in our business. So that's the career path that we focused on. So let's jump right into the plan and start out with number one, our personal sales bonus. Now this falls into that bronze category of the career path, but this is where you are getting compensated very, very well for acquiring customers. Now again, we talked about legislation. In order for us to be compliant, we have to be a company that is all about 
customer acquisition, having a lot of customers purchasing our products. And look, if you've experienced the food, you know that's not gonna be an issue. But what I love about our plan is that we pay incredibly well for bringing customers on board and purchasing our products. So as you can see, when somebody comes on and they purchase products as a retail customer, you as the individual that brought them to the table and, and as they purchase that, you're gonna receive 25% commission on that retail sale. Preferred customers, so those individuals that are on a monthly order, they're gonna receive a discount, they're not gonna pay as much as a retail customer, you're gonna receive 15% commission every single time that preferred customer's order hits. So, really powerful, greatly compensated again for acquiring customers, so that's our personal sales bonus. The second one then is our preferred customer bonus. So. You, as a consultant, as you're out talking to customers and you're having people join as preferred customers on a monthly order, the company is gonna compensate you additionally as you continue to grow your customer base. And so you can see the numbers here. When we have four customers with a, a, a personal, uh, sorry, preferred customer volume of $300, in addition to the commission that you're receiving on those sales, you're also gonna earn an additional $40 bonus every single month that you hit this qualification. And you can see how that advances. So when I have six with a total uh, PC volume of $600, I now receive an additional 75. And then once I get to 10 and beyond, at $1,200 total PC volume, I'm gonna receive an additional $200 every month. And again, that's on top of that 15 to 25% that I'm receiving on my customer purchases. So really powerful bonus. Again, incentivizing the acquisition of customers and getting them on our products so that they can use them every day. The next bonus then is our first 30 day bonus. And this, this is really exciting because again, I want you to think about this is in addition to the first two bonuses that I talked about. So when you enroll or sponsor, whether it's a consultant or a customer, you're gonna receive 25% commission on whatever those individuals purchase within their first 30 days. So you can do the math. They purchase $100 worth of product, you're gonna receive a $25 commission within those first 30 days. They purchase 500, you can do the math. Whatever they purchase within their first 30 days, you're gonna receive a 25% commission. Then here's the other piece of this, and this is so powerful. Another 50% of the commissionable volume so if we do the math, it's simple. If somebody purchases $100 worth of product, another $50, 50% of the commissionable volume is gonna go into what we call the unit level, which is where our volume's created as people are purchasing product, and that's gonna get paid out through the organization, and we'll show you the unit level here in just a second. So again, a very another, another very powerful bonus, our first 30-day bonus that helps you create income really, really quickly. This is paid out on a weekly basis and it's in addition to the first two bonuses that we talked about. So the U-level portion of our plan is, is where you start to create that monthly volume and really where the residual income piece of the compensation plan comes in. Now, now our compensation plan is a unilevel hybrid. And so this is the unilevel portion of the plan where you have the opportunity to earn income on seven levels of your organization. Now, what's included in this is what we call compression. So if somebody within your seven levels isn't active up for a month or, or is, is you know, not, not in the organization anymore, doesn't place an order, their, their position is actually gonna compress so that you're not losing out within your seven levels. So what does that mean? Well, if somebody on your fifth level decides not to place an order, isn't qualified as active for a month, their volume or their spot is actually gonna compress up so that you're now tapping in to an additional level below your seventh level so that you don't lose out on your full seven levels of compensation. And we'll talk about, talk about active in just a second. So again, a seven level unit level, you can see that the percentages go uh, based on your rank from 10% down to 2% with a total payout within the unit level of 36%. So the total payout in the unit level maxed out is gonna be 36%. Now, we have our ranks here, and this is the first time we'll really talk about what each of our ranks are. So when we talk about our career path, we talk about bronze. We have a bronze one, bronze two, bronze three, and you can see the, the, the rank advancement qualifications for that. We have a silver one, two, and three, gold one through three, platinum one through three, and then presidential platinum and crown platinum. So as we go through this, you can see that the rank advancement qualifications are different as you advance through the comp plan. Let's go through some of the terms. First of all, PV, personal volume. 
That personal volume is critical because that is what determines your active status. So, bronze one through three, in order to be active and advance through the plan, you need to have at least a hundred dollars in personal volume. Now, here's what that means and what it doesn't mean. You cannot qualify that hundred dollars with just solely your purchases. Again, remember we talked about the importance of customers. We have a 50% rule. No more than 50% of your personal qualifying volume, your PV, can be from your own purchases. So you may purchase $1,000 worth of product, only $50 of that, as long as you're in the bronze category, will go towards your active status. So what does that mean? You have to have customers. You have to have customers that are gonna make up the additional uh, part of that personal volume requirement. Okay, so as we get to the silver level, that volume requirement jumps up to $150, so no more than $75 of that can come from your own purchases, and you can do the math as we continue through there, okay? The second category is legs. What does that mean? Well, the number of legs that you need to have that are qualified as active for you to be eligible to rank advance to the different ranks. So when we look again at, at bronze three, you need to have at least two legs that are active, two legs that have at least $100 worth of volume in them to be qualified as active. That jumps up to uh, you know, 150 in three legs, and then you can see once you get to platinum three, you'll need four legs. So here's the rank advancement qualifications that you'll need as you're advancing through. And then the last one then is downline volume. That is the total volume of your organization. That doesn't just cap at seven levels, it's looking at the total volume of your organization to advance through. So as an example, to be qualified as a silver one, you would need to have at least $150 worth of personal volume, half of it coming from you at least, or, or, or minimum, and then another half coming from customers, okay? Um, and then you have to have at least $2,000 in downline volume. Now here's what's important, is as you advance through this compensation plan, no more than 60% of your qualifying, of your downline volume to rank advance can come from one single leg. So you could have one massive leg, only 60% of the volume from that's gonna go towards your rank advancement. So that means that the other 40% has to come from at least one leg or multiple legs that you've enrolled and that you have in your organization, okay? So that's downline volume. So again, this, this, this commission is paid out on a monthly basis. It's paid out on the volume that you are creating throughout your organization. All right, so now we move to our advancement bonus, and this is really where we start to get into the development and helping people advance rank. For us, the building block of this compensation plan is the rank of Silver One. And, and if you remember from the previous slide, Silver One is somebody who has three active legs, they have $150 worth of personal volume, and they have $2,000 in downline volume. And that to us is the staple. It's the cornerstone of the compensation plan because here's what I believe, that if you can achieve the rank of silver one, then you can go out and help teach those individuals to advance to the rank of silver one and they can do the same thing. And if we can learn to do that, you can advance all the way to crown platinum simply by learning how to become a silver one. That's why it's the, the building block. That's why we've put a bonus in place to incentivize you and reward you that if you reach, uh, achieve the rank of silver one within your first 90 days, then you're gonna receive a one-time $250 bonus as you see here. Now, here's the cool thing. For all of the consultants that you've enrolled personally, any of those that you help achieve the rank of silver one within their first 90 days, you're also gonna receive a $250 one-time bonus for them advancing rank. Again, that's to incentivize and also to reward you for helping those individuals advance rank. So that's our advancement bonus, again, as we go through the career path of our compensation plan. Now we go to the team building bonus, and, and guys, this is where I get excited because again, we're talking about helping team members grow, helping them develop and advance in rank. So when you are qualified as a silver one, you now are eligible to begin earning these team building bonuses. And guys, these are residual, so they're paid out each and every month. These are not one time. So when you're a silver one, the compensation plan is gonna look at all of your, your, your legs that are direct to you. They're gonna look at all of your legs, all that volume, and in each leg, when they find, when you're a silver one, another silver one within each of your legs, you're gonna earn an additional $50 every single month that you're qualified as a silver one and at least one individual is qualified as a silver one within each of your legs. When you advance to silver two, 
and you have a silver two in, in each of those legs, any legs within your organization and your downline, that goes up to $75. And again, that's paid every single month. And when you advance to silver three, and you have legs now that have at least one individual that's qualified as a silver three, you're gonna earn $125 each and every month. Now, to clarify, these aren't all added together. This one, once you advance to silver three and you have silver threes, you're no longer getting the 75, that's replaced with $125. But here's what's important. Again, this is paid out each and every month. This is not a one-time bonus. It's paid every month, so it becomes a residual form of income for you as you're going through the compensation plan. Our next bonus now is where we really get into the wealth building, and this is our leader bonus. This is what we would call our matching bonus. So we have a six generation matching bonus, and this is an important um, clarification. It's not matching on an individual's check. It's actually matching on the volume within a generation. So let's go through this. I want to take you to a next slide really quickly so that we can define the qualifications that we're talking about. You are eligible to begin earning the leader bonus when you're a gold one. So to make sure we're clearly defined on what a gold one is, once you have reached the rank of gold one, which means you have $200 in personal volume, uh, no more than $100 coming from you, the rest from customers. You have at least three active legs and you have $12,000 worth of qualifying or downline volume. And again, that 60% rule comes into play. No more than 60% of that can be in any one leg. You're now qualified or eligible to earn uh, from the leader, the leader bonus. Now, what defines a generation? Well, a generation is defined by silver three. So what that means is when you're a gold one, in any of your legs, once you have somebody advance rank to the rank of silver three, which is $150 in personal volume, no more than 75 of that can come from their own purchases, three active legs and $8,000 in downline volume, they now qualify as a generation. And as we go through this bonus, each generation is defined by a silver three or higher. So somebody could be a gold one, gold two, gold three, that qualifies as a generation. So if we go back to that slide, the leader bonus, guys, this is where this gets so incredibly powerful because as you hit the rank of gold one, as soon as you have somebody hit silver three, you now are earning an additional 3% on all of the volume in that individual's organization infinitely deep because that could go deeper than seven levels. That 3% is in addition to all of the percentages in the UNA level, assuming they fall within your seven levels and anything below that. Now, when you achieve the rank of gold two, you now are el eligible to earn two generations. So that means if you enrolled me and I became a silver three, I'm your first generation. And then if somebody else in my downline uh, becomes a silver three, that qualifies as your second generation. And you can see that pays an additional, that pays 3% as well. Well, as you advance rank all the way to crown platinum, you can see that those percentages go up and we pay that six levels deep and it hits every single leg. If you just wrap your brain around the significance and the power of this bonus, tremendous, tremendous wealth is going to be created just from this because of how many ways it pays and how it looks through the compensation plan. Now, what happens when you get to your sixth generation and somebody below that sixth generation achieves the level of silver three and you're now into your seventh generation. Well, that's where the next bonus comes in, our infinity bonus, okay? And here's the infinity bonus. Once you've hit the rank of presidential, you are gonna receive below your sixth generation, your seventh generation uh, on the leadership bonus, an, a five half, or I'm sorry, a half a percent infinitely deep. So on all of the volume in your downline, infinitely deep, you're gonna be earning a half a percent on all that volume below your seventh generation uh, from the leader bonus. And then once you hit crown platinum, you'll be receiving 1% infinitely deep on all of the volume in your downline below that seventh generation, that seventh silver three within your organization. So you can see incredibly powerful where we're not cutting you off in regards to the volume that you get paid on. And then the last bonus is the one that I'm incredibly excited about because it's a global sharing pool. So the company setting aside 1% of its global volume. And as you reach these ranks, as you reach platinum one, you have the opportunity to earn one share of that global pool. Platinum two, you get two and you can see all the way up to crown platinum is eight shares. So if you think about that, 
right? If, if the company is doing a billion dollars in sales, 1% of that is gonna be set aside and depend upon how many shares have been qualified for, that will be divided between those shares and then your share, that's gonna determine the value of the share that you've earned. Incredibly powerful given the vision and where this company is going. So that's our global pool. So those are the nine ways that you can earn within our compensation plan that we've created here at Yavo for you. So I'm incredibly excited for, for you to be able to go out and begin to actively build this plan, build your organization and take advantage of the compensation plan that was developed for you. Thank you for your time and uh, I look forward to working with you in the future.